Aloha and welcome back. So on my last video, I did say that um, I had made card four and five, which was a mistake. I made card three and four. So this is the five and six cards, five and six video here. So let's get right into it. So I started with the frame die that came in the kit this month or sorry, in, in September's card kit. And I cut it out on some white textured paper. This paper is really, really textured. And so I decided to take my colored pencils and just color in all the little leaves on this, leaves and branches on this uh, frame die cut here. So I'm just trying to do like some blending. It's really hard on this textured paper and it's totally fine. I, I wanted to have like the real, you know, like childhood coloring on, you know, whatever paper you could find. And sometimes it would leave all these white marks because of the texture in the paper. So I kind of really wanted to go for that. So I'm just trying to blend two different colors um, for the leaves. This is the red tone leaves and then I'm gonna be doing some you know green yellow orange just real fall leaf colors okay so I'm just showing you that I'm just doing some quick blending I do I do like three I try to do an odd number of each color so I try to do about three um, three colors uh, um, for each leaf on this frame die cut so here I'm going to like an orangey yellow tone. So I'm starting with an orange for the bottom half and then pulling it out with the yellow. And I had to go over it like a bunch of times just because there's so much texture on it. But, you know, it's it's the look I was going for. So I just just kept working at it. And then doing some greens here as well. Putting one color on the bottom and then pulling it out with the, and the another color on the top. And you can see how much texture. Like I had to turn the paper around a couple of times just to get to get the pencil to fill in those spots just a little bit more. I didn't want it so much white, but. I'm going to show you the finished project here. All right, so I colored everything in. And those leaves on the camera look a little bluish, but they're not. They're like a teal green color. Okay, and I'm going to just take some of the Distress ink in a Vintage Photo, and I wanted to kind of do the frame a little more, give it a little more color. I couldn't get it with the pencil, so I just decided to ink blend and get around the, fr the frame and the branches a little more brown. So that's what I did here. Okay, and that just makes it look like finished. Okay, so I'm gonna work on the card base here now. So I'm taking some khaki ink and I took a bunch of the word sentiments that came in the stamp set and a couple in my stash that all had to do with fall and being thankful and I'm just stamp stamping that onto a craft uh, card base. I wanted to do like a tone on tone with words so when I finish that's what it looked like and I'm gonna be adding my frame piece to the center. Okay so I'm just gonna um, at this point attach the frame with some liquid adhesive and I do like liquid adhesive because it gives me time to move things around. And I'm just gonna try to get that as straight and in the middle as I possibly can. And then in my stash, I also had this black puffy sticker, or not puffy, foam, black foam sticker that uh, was in Hello that had the word hello, sorry. So I attached that to the middle and I'm gonna just use my Nouveau Drops to give it a little more shine and dimension. And that's card number five. 
Now we're moving to card number six and I am going to have still shots at the end of the video. So here with card number six, I started out by stamping with Versamark and then heat embossing with different colors of embossing powder from Ranger. And I had this idea and so I really wanted to use these leaves, but when I started putting my card together um, and I cut all these pieces out, it just, it was too much white. So I decided to use my uh, ink daubers here and I'm using some oxide inks and I'm just going to blend on the coordinating colors. So this is the red embossed ink, sorry, the red embossed maple leaf. And so I'm taking the candied apple oxide ink and just blending it onto the maple leaf there. And I think it's gorgeous. It just comes out beautifully. The red or the colored embossing ink with the colored background for these maple leaves just came out gorgeous. So then I decided to do two colors. So Lucky Clover and Twisted Citron for the necks, for the green leaves. And I just love the way it just gives that two-tone. It really just reminds me of fall when the leaves are changing and there's like different colors in each leaf. So <clears throat> I really wanted to get that. And then with the candied apple, it did it basically on its own. So you can see it's kind of a gradient effect. So I really wanted it to show it here with these other colors. So for the yellow, I'm using fossilized amber and squeezed lemonade oxides. And I think if I was to do this one again, I kind of want to do, it blended a little too much. It, it came out beautifully, but it blended a little too much. Um, like it kind of looked like one color instead of two, like the the Twisted Citron and Lucky Clover, but it came out really, really good, really cute, very vibrant. And then for the oranges, Spiced Marmalade and Wild Honey. These two together are my favorite on the maple leaves. So I'm starting out with the Wild Honey, and I'm going to show you here that I could have just stopped with this, with the Wild Honey. So if you have the Wild Honey, and you just want to use that. That is gorgeous as well. It gives it a really nice blend, but then just adding that little hint of uh, spiced marmalade just gives it a whole nother dimension there. And I'm going to show you it here. There we go. So pretty. Okay, so I inked everything up, all my leaves, very vibrant colors. So reminds me of fall. So, so excited. And I did cut a panel, an uh, oval panel from the die that came in the kit this in September's kit. And I cut out a thankful sentiment with a mirrored black cardstock. Okay, and I'm going to use a black backing piece. I'm going to be stamping it up with this My Favorite Things wood plank background stamp. I'm going to be stamping that black panel with some Versamark ink. And my idea was to just have a tone on tone on the black paper. So I wanted to go Versamark and when I pulled it off, like it, you could see it, but it wasn't anything that was like, wow, that looks amazing. So then I decided to clear heat emboss or add some clear embossing powder and then heat set that to give it a little bit more of that wow factor. So here I am heat embossing and that's the panel and I'm going to be putting my oval piece on with some uh, score tape there as, as best as I can right in the middle of that little of that panel. And I attached my thankful die cut with some liquid adhesive and I'm going to be placing my maple leaves all around the word thankful was my idea. I just wanted it to be very like black and white and then just these pops of color with the maple leaves and just really let the maple leaves shine through. And so that's the idea. So I'm just putting something heavy on the maple leaves just to hold them down uh, while they dry. So that's just my Novo Drops bottle. 
And some of these I'm going to be popping up on foam tape. Some I will be adding just liquid adhesive and just give it like different dimension and really just let these maple leaves stand out on this piece here. And the word uh, thankful is actually glued down. I did put liquid adhesive so that I could have the luxury of using my tweezers to lift up little pieces of the word and then stick my maple leaves under and be able to maneuver the pieces and then just add more glue to just make sure the word sticks down completely. All these leaves, like at the end of the video when I show the the still shots of the card, I mean, these leaves really just set this card to a whole nother level. It's just gorgeous. And I am... It's very distracting to me, so I don't know if it's distracting to you, but I do have this like really crazy nail polish on my fingers. Um, I don't normally go for something so sparkly and bold, but a friend gave me this nail polish, so I decided to showcase it. I actually didn't decide, decide to showcase it. I tried it out and started working on this video after I put it on. So here is the finished piece. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my. And I'm just going to attach that with some score tape to a craft cardstock. And that, my friends, will be the end of card number six. I'm going to add a couple of little nouveau drops, and you'll see that in the steel photos here. And so here are the steel photos of the two cards that I created today. I added some sequins to this card here. And it was really fun working with this kit. had so many ideas. And I am going to continue the theme throughout October. And I will start doing Christmas cards starting at the end of October into November. And here is the still shot of that gorgeous card. And you can see the Nouveau drops. Just really brings, ties it all in. So mahalo for watching and staying with me for this card series. And I will catch you next week for another autumn themed video. Mahalo.